Hi YouTubers, welcome to my video and today I'm just going to show you how to create uh, an Android app using Android Studio. So this app is going to be you are integrating your Android API YouTube into your app so that people can watch your YouTube videos on your Android app. Okay, so go ahead and open Android Studio. If you don't know where to download Android Studio, I will provide the link on my comment box then this takes time especially if it's the first time so you need to be patient while waiting just go to Google and type in YouTube API download once you type in YouTube API download click the first link you'll see YouTube Android API click download so the file will be downloaded as you can see here on the left top I mean on the bottom left while waiting for that uh, to download, go back to Android su Studio. You should see that uh, it has already opened. It depends on your computer. And then go ahead online again, type in on Google API Service Google or Google API Service. Once you click that, you'll be able to go to your account if you have registered before and you have paid for subscription one of two to upload, I mean, the apps on player so go on and create a new project so mine I have already logged in click new project give a name of your project in my case I'm just gonna give my own name here okay as you can see leave the organization as it is and then just click create so now this is our project which we are going to integrate this into our API so that we can show our Android videos on our apps Android apps so click create after you have given a name of your project after you have created it you'll see the project is going to be created on the side there on top right wait for a few seconds you'll get the confirmation once you get this confirmation click select project now click enable API and service and then on the search just click YouTube okay YouTube data API v3 you're going to click that and then enable so once you click enable this is how you enable your API now the screen will go to overview once you are on overview now click create credential now here we are going to choose YouTube API credential because we need to integrate this into our Android apps so go ahead and choose YouTube API credential okay and we are going uh, to choose here Android and public because we are going to process public data and then click create so credential has been enabled now as you can see here click save right now leave this application as it is after you have click save there we will come back to it now we need to go back to android studio that's our api as you can see here but we have not done anything it's still on orange okay so we're gonna leave is leave it as it is we are going to android right. studio now. so once android studio has opened yours might not open like this but uh, let's say that it has opened uh, like this just go to file and new okay so what we need it is empty activities you can use lots of uh, preset here application and other things but we are going to create our apps from the scratch click next give a name for your apps I'm just going to give the same name as my API which is right now package name I have got website already so my package name yours might be like example.com you have to change it because you won't be able to publish if it is on example it will give you an error bef later on so package name mine I have got a website it is com.flashtontv.mamanamwana and this is where I'd save location if you haven't got a save location you can just browse and create a folder so mine it is on C users my name and Android Studio project Mama Namwana 
and we need to ch to change here to Java. You can use Kotlin, but I'm just gonna use J Java for this for this project, and uh, you are gonna leave it as it is here, and click, I mean, and click finish. Right. Once you click finish, just let it for some times to create. You can see on event log here that uh, something is going to be create created. So, okay. So this is my app has been created here you can see so I have got two files activity main XML and main activity Java okay we will need to come back here to I mean to amend some of the code here okay I'm just going to activity main XML this is where you see your app I mean if you have connected your device your phone if you don't know how to connect it there will be another another video before this how to connect your phone and see your app before before you publish it so this is how your app will, will look like on the phone okay so activity main this is where we design like a button and image view and other things you can design by just drag and drop like that but uh, we are not gonna do that for now or you can use the code if you go to use the code then you need to change some things on here so first things let's first change from Android constraint layout to linear layout I'm going to highlight from here okay and if I start typing lin linear you can see that linear has appeared here okay and uh, we will need to remove this te text view of course you can leave them it doesn't make any difference but uh, for the moment I'm just gonna leave as it is so we have changed this to linear layout I'm just gonna split the screen so this is linear layout at the moment okay now on the left side here we have uh, Android apps manifest right you remember we have downloaded something on the which is YouTube API before download now we need first to go to that file which is we need to extra extract the file or unzip the file I'm just going to my computer here and it is on my download okay so this is the file YouTube Android player API I'm going to extract at the same place extract so I've got here I'm going to libs now YouTube Android player API dot G jar copy this file and go to Android studio and you will find probably just like this so extend your project you get this folder like Gradle and apps we are interested on apps now so extend app and then on lib click lib and right click and paste we are going to create a dependency for the current uh, Android studio you, you will see ref uh, refactor some of them might be different so click refactor I would suggest copy this name copy it and click refactor I will tell you the reason why I'm, I'm doing I'm doing that so after that mean that we have copied that you see we have YouTube Android player API jar file here now I need to allow dependency into our system because what we are interested on YouTube okay I'm going to cancel some of these so I'm going to file and project S project structure click project structure dependencies on dependency click add dependency jar dependency now some of you you will be able to see your folder here but remember when I say copy that that name there if I click control V I got YouTube Android player API jar this is our for our file which we have download I'm going to click here lib okay forward slash YouTube Android API I'm going to create this dependency now so we have created extra folder into our project because we need our f our apps Android apps need to access this YouTube Android API apply 
once you click apply it will start fetching gradle build module you don't have when after lib you don't have to put forward slash but you can also create backslash okay but uh, I, I have used the forward slash and create okay so gradle projects sync in progress and if you check on event log that everything has been successful here okay so we have we are able to i mean to allow dependency on on onto our project which is youtube api dependency okay you can see here implementation file on dependency youtube android api dot jar okay now stop where you are now i have not designed these apps not yet i mean nothing i have not designed any app now i'm just gonna add all the things which i need so this is our app here you i have not designed a anything although i have used the linear layout here okay so now we are gonna go back to our google service where is uh, console developer google.com where we have our api so i'm going to choose the one which i have just created which is mama namana click that and click enable apis apis and service so remember before we did say that we have enabled that okay so just click that you can just go and click here enable and then we need to go to youtube data if you want i mean if you prefer this way and then click manage okay if you click manage here so we have all our information here now click credential okay go to credential you can see your API key one here this is you remember it was in amber because we have not done anything now we need to edit it on the pencil here on the right click that pencil now API name we can give it a name now I'm going to give the same name as so because this is API key one it, sh it says here okay let's say I'm going to give my name Mama. Okay, and then Android apps. I'm going to choose Android apps here. And here, restrict user to your Android apps. We need to add items here. If we click add items, it asks us for SH1 certificate fingerprint and then package name. So package name com dot example yours will be like that. We don't want that. So I'm going back to my app here. Okay. Now main activity dot Java. This is my package name. I'm going to copy this first from com dot flash tune TV. Copy. Going back to where I was, which is here. Right. So that's my my package name okay certificate so this is the certificate going back to Android studio okay back to Android studio you can find certificate on gradle here okay um, just gonna click here gradle build at gradle if you can't find it, just click on the side here gradle script and then here it is our project mama namana click ex to expand that click task and then click uh, where where we are okay so we have here android okay sign in signing report we need to click signing report once we click signing report it's going to create now our certificate so our certificate it's here SHA1 I'm going to copy it so now we are going to link, link these two things to apps. So I'm going to copy that certificate and going back to Android API. Sorry, not this one. This will come back later. Here we go. And uh, control V to paste and click. Okay, so we have done here. Click done here. Okay. And then don't restrict key. Click save. Okay now you will see that it has changed to mama namwana is green now so this has changed now 
leave this one now okay because it has already been li linked with the here now at the moment so I'm going back to Android Studio now to design our app now on Android Studio alright so first we are going to activity main dot XML we are going to change some things here first I'm going to delete text view first I don't need text view at the moment okay we are going to design now because this is where we are designing here okay right I'm going first to check this code what I need because I'm using linear layout on Android layout with match parent that's fine and then Android layout height match parent I'm okay with that now we need to add Android orientation okay I'm going to click at the end of match parent enter so if I type in orientation orientation I can get Android orientation here and click enter now this is we need to choose vertical okay not horizontal vertical okay I'm going to split this screen to see also here so this is what we are going to design here tools here a uh, tools context main activity I can leave it as a main activity but uh, I'm just gonna change for for this time I'm just going to add something else here yeah so starting with YouTube player view I'm just going to start with uh, this you so I've got YouTube player view here the first one which I'm going to choose okay and then Android layout match parent I'm happy with that and then here we are going to hate I'm just gonna give it 250 250 DP okay so you can see here it's changing 250 DP right and then I need to do ID so I'm just going to type ID sorry ID which is Android ID as you can see from here and uh, I'm just going to choose YouTube player view Android ID and here I'm just going to use uh, the first one Android which is plus <coughs> excuse me here we go and uh, I'm just gonna give it uh, YouTube player view okay here we go and then after that we need to go on and add button now which I'm going to go down here button which is uh, gonna start from here button So I'm just gonna add button and uh, on uh, Android layout we are going to use match parent and Android layout height we are going to use wrap content. After that I'm just going to add Android layout margin top. Now I'm going to add Android text by typing text and then I'm going to type in play just remember to close it Android ID again Android I'm just going to give it play and then we are going to set uh, margin top with margin top I'm just going to add as you can see from here sorry margin top is only 20 dp so that uh, it gives us uh, enough uh, enough room between the play button and the video itself now I'm gonna go to mainactivity.xml so this is our mainactivity.xml I'm just going to extend this I'm going to remove first and then I'm going to type YouTube base activity because we need to, to extend this to access YouTube base activity on the second line here I'm just gonna type in button okay and then uh, space btn and then semicolon so this is a function I mean which uh, we will repeat it later on the coding here next type in YouTube player view 
remember you to play a view with capital Y and capital T and capital P this is how coding works and then after that uh, just click enter and then type in again YouTube player view finish with the semicolon go to the next line YouTube player go to YouTube player view and then just delete uh, player view where you have YouTube player and then dot on initialized listener and again on initialize listener this is the code which we want from here go to next line after the super on create and set content view and type in btn and then equal find view by id in the bracket type r dot id dot play so this is we are trying to call the play button now to link with our video once you have done that just go to the next line now and then type in again YouTube player view equal find view by ID and inside the bracket you just need to put r dot ID dot YouTube player view now go to next line and type in on initialized listener equal new space youtube player dot on on initialized listener that should be on bracket okay so once you did that once you do that it will create uh, like a public void on initialized success so this is what we want and under public void you are going to type in again the code YouTube player dot so this it depends do you want to include only one video for example I will show you for one video but uh, it's not much different if you want to create a player list as well so YouTube dot load player list or YouTube dot uh, player view I will show you both way end of this video so after you have done that you are going to your YouTube channel now on your YouTube channel you're going to to take the video code and I'm going to use uh, from the equal sign that will be the video link now on this curly bracket you're gonna include a semicolon okay and then go down to the next line and you're going to type in the following code now btn dot set on click listener and then inside the bracket just choose new and then space view dot on click listener next we're going to finish our code with the youtube player view dot initialized so on the string inside we are going to copy our api uh, the one which we have created before uh, we're going to our Google console to call our API and then stick it inside there so go to your channel and go to credential okay you can copy it from there or you can copy it direct from here just copy it to clipboard as you can see credential and then go back to your YouTube Android and then just stick it in there so we have done everything uh, you can now inspect your Android for example mine you can see here on top right it is red that means that there's something wrong so I know what is wrong with this so what is wrong actually it is the uh, closing bracket I just need to add extra bracket under here so that I will be able to to run my code I'm going to show you how I'm going to run this code I haven't got any device here but I have got actual device physical device which I won't be able to show you in here but uh, this Android uh, app it's going to run so guys this is my phone and I'm going to run so guys this is my phone and I'm just going to run the app here on my actual physical device you can see it runs and uh, just to let you know that uh, this was not a video view or player view 
I have decided to change it to include a playlist view. But you won't see my playlist because I have not designed uh, my app yet. I'm just going to show you. It's like a prototype. But uh, when you try to skip the video, it's going to go to next video, as you can see. So this is a playlist view. It's not a video view. You can just leave like this as a playlist view and just put some comment, uh, I mean, some text underneath that this is a playlist view, not a video view. And you can tell your uh, customer that uh, they just need to skip and go forward, as you can see from here. So this app, once it finishes one video, it's going to go to my next video in my playlist. Guys, if this uh, video helped you, please don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment. And if you've got any questions, you can just put in a comment box. And if you've got any question, please just put in a comment box. I'm going to list all the code and uh, all the website I have used. Thanks for watching. Bye.